Good evening. Welcome back to the channel. This video is not financial advice, not a financial advisor. Do your own research, make your own decisions. Guys, this is a pretty big deal. In my opinion, I was waiting to see if they were going to do this. And just, I'm not an engineer, I'm not a developer, but it made sense to me why this would be possible. And in one of those uh, question sets of questions that I shot out to Definity uh, months ago, this was a part of that, was, was asking, okay, is are we going to have access to this within the NNS? And my questions were answered today because Manu posted this. So this is just a screenshot, and it's done a full screenshot of the NNS on ICP, which essentially just is the dashboard. Um, but it is, a, it is a zoomed in screenshot, and it shows where they're adding CKBTC. But the, the big part here is, is the with future upgrades, it will also allow support converting Bitcoin into CKBTC and back. Now, my general question would be, once that functionality is available, is it possible to convert ICP to Bitcoin right here the same way you would convert CK Bitcoin to Bitcoin and vice versa? And if the answer to that is yes, obviously the next question would be, okay, is this same functionality going to be there for Ethereum the same the way that it is for Bitcoin? And then ERC-20s, and if you're able to just continue to scale this across numerous different cryptocurrencies, and you can have everything housed here, and you have the ability to convert, I mean, where else is this happening? The, the answer is nowhere. And I, again, I'm going to try to use graphics and image to, to try to maybe better explain this, but I, I just don't know what people don't get about their smart contracts can sign transactions on other networks. Like that is the big thing. That's the big thing. So whenever the Bitcoin functionality is going to be here, it, it's important to know that the reason they can do this and other networks can't is because those smart contracts are executing the transaction on the Bitcoin network. Now, to go a little bit deeper into this, this is really the problem, is that with most bridge setups, you're going to have a third party. It's going to look something like this. Now, the bridge, again, they each have a diff their own setup, and all these things are, are structured differently. And some of them may be more secure than others. Some may actually, may actually be decentralized. They're, they're all their own things. But needless to say, there is going to be a third party. The big difference with ICP is the ICP smart contracts for executing the transactions on the Bitcoin network. It's not ICP third party Bitcoin, like it is with Ethereum third party Bitcoin or any other chain third party Bitcoin. So there's numerous risks with this and it's not scalable. And if they can, I mean, again, this, this is very like baseline type functionality stuff, but I mean, if they can have the ability for, for every network they can integrate with. And I guess, you know, for, so we talk about Ethereum, you also add in ERC 20s. If they can also enable the functionality within the NNS for Ethereum and ERC 20s, I mean, it's just, and you can convert across. Now, you might not be able to. You might just have to you know, convert. You might just be able to convert from CKBTC to BTC and, and vice versa. But being able to have a quick and easy way to convert CKBTC into BTC, I think it's going to eliminate any issues anybody may have with CKBTC. And, and I, I have none whatsoever. CKBTC, in my opinion, I, I, mean, I, I mean, I'm not the authority on the subject matter. But it's more so a necessity because of how slow Bitcoin is. It's not necessarily a necessity because of any limitations on ICP's part. So I, I just really, really grasp these two images right here. Really grasp this image and this image. This is the big difference. Okay. Now, we're talking about scaling this across numerous different networks. I... I, I Guys, if you can't like wrap your mind around the concept that they're executing transactions on other networks, like you, you got to get to that point.
because it's it's a bigger deal than I can put into words. And on ICP based applications, being able to actually send and receive Bitcoin, do you know how many applications? How many across so many different you know types of applications? are going to want to use this network specifically because it has the built-in functionality to be able to do those different things. And it's not just necessarily with cross-chain functionality. There's so many additional things, data storage, okay? Um, being able to have governance at the network and the application level, all of these things. There, there's certain functionality that has to be present with any network to be able to be a suitable network for certain things, not everything. A lot of networks don't need this functionality because they're not going to have social media applications running on their network. They're not going to have, you know, metaverse type games or metaverse, metaverse in general running on their network. They're designed for enterprise use cases. Now, to that point, you know, I've been saying this for a long time, guys, and, and I just saw that this existed the other day. This is from Infosys, one of the largest companies in the world, integrating blockchain with ERP for a transparent supply chain. And it, it just goes right over it. I mean, I've been talking about this for a year and a half and, and shows, I mean, Oracle uh, owns uh, NetSuite. NetSuite's a big uh, ERP system, SAP as well. They have a giant uh, enterprise system for that. Um, but, but it has everything laid out right here. And on top of that, it talks about all the other use cases for CRMs, right? For uh, warehouse management systems. It talks about all the other applications for blockchain technology and using enterprise software, integrating blockchain technology into enterprise software. So again, I think this is how many of these tech, many of these layer ones are going to be used. And that's how they're already being used. But just understand ICP is something different. And they have so much functionality that nobody else has. So you can choose to ignore that, or you can choose to say it doesn't matter, whatever, you know, make your own calls, guys, doesn't matter to me at all, you know. But I'm, I'm just giving you guys the heads up. Um, this is an extremely big deal. So that's all I have for this video. Thank you, everyone, who has liked, share, and subscribed. Take care. Have a good day. I'll see you in the next video.